Jinder Mahal. Yeah. Starts up a lot of controversy by saying those comments that he said about Shinsuke Nakamura on SmackDown. Are y'all really surprised by this? Like, seriously, are you? For me, I'm a child of the 80s. I've seen more racist crap in my life than that little piddly moment. Now, I'm not saying that people should literally just turn a blind eye to what was said. It was racist. But for those that call Jinder Mahal racist, go back and watch the footage again. Even he was uncomfortable. It was to the point where after he called him Mr. Miyagi and the fans were saying that, you know, that's too far. And then also um, making fun of his accent. And when the fans were chanting that, you would be surprised that he switched from being racist on to speaking straight up Punjabi. Even he was uncomfortable. So if you honestly think that he's racist for that reason, go back and watch the footage. Because from what I saw, he was not comfortable with it at all. But who, who's, who's the blame here? Like, do you have somebody to blame? Why is it the blame came? Because this should be completely obvious. Now, being a child of the 80s, I have seen more characters that are far racist than Jinder Mahal. Seriously, with Jinder Mahal's comments, in other words. But during that time, in the 80s, in my opinion, and this is, this is just going for the straight-up patriotic stereotypes. Now, as for the whole racism edge... I'm not going to, I mean, for the whole racism edge, you can pretty much kind of say it may be a hint of racism there, especially with some of the promos. But despite all that, in the 80s, there were a lot of stereotypical patriotic gimmicks, but there was a reason behind it. And this is just my overall opinion here. I am not a historian by any means. But from what I remember for Sergeant Slaughter, the reason why he was so popular, because during that time, America was going through the Persian Gulf War. We had soldiers in the Persian Gulf War and the Cold War. There were two wars that were going on at that time, and the country needed some patriotic morale. That's the reason why Tarzan Slaughter's character became so beloved, and that's why he became so hated, especially during the Persian Gulf War, when he actually went on to the side, and when he sided um, with um, um, the Iron Sheik. And that's why he became so hated at that time. And that's why Iron Sheik was so hated because he was from Iran. And also during the Cold War, Nikita Koloff became hated because he was Russian. And there was a reason for that. Even though it was very stereotypical at that time, I understood why it was done. Just to bring some morale and make Americans be proud to be an American. But there's no reason for that now. Now, when it comes to WWE, am I really surprised? I mean, for years, everyone has known from either if you were from the golden era or beyond that, before it was even televised in the 60s and 70s, everybody pretty much knows how completely prejudiced and racist that the, uh, the wrestling companies were with minorities during that time. And there were times that you really haven't seen a minority champion for a very long time. We know this. And there were a lot of crazy gimmicks that went on in the 80s. And also, speaking of beyond wrestling, there were a lot of crazy racist things on television. And I'm going to give you an example. Google Soul Man. Yeah, it was a movie that actually aired. That actually was in theaters. Google it. Go ahead. There was a lot of crazy stuff. Less PC stuff during the 80s. So that's why this stuff doesn't really phase me none. And when it comes to the 90s, can we mention the Attitude Era? That, that little moment, that era that's supposed to be the best era ever? The era that will never go away, that for some reason is trying to come back? It had the worst, most sexist, most racist gimmicks there could be. And can we even talk about DX dressing up as the Nation of Domination? And the fact that you had X-Pac and Blackface. I'm just saying, can we say that half of the people in DX have blackface, except for China? <laughs> can, can we mention that now? The thing is, there were far worse things happening during the Attitude Era and the Golden Era than it is now. And the people who are really upset about it, who literally tweet and talk about it on social media, probably were too young to even experience the Attitude Era and actually watch it on the network. I'm going to let you know right now. It is hard to find original footage of the Attitude Era unless you taped it. I have episodes from the Attitude Era on VHS 
That's how old it is, man. That's how long ago it was. I got stuff on tape. I got the Ruthless Aggression Era on VHS. That's how long it's been, man. You can't find original footage anymore. You can't. You can't unless you recorded it in the 90s. And the stuff that you watch in the network is watered down edited garbage. That stuff you're not gonna you're not gonna see the whole thing. You're not. Unless they show it to you. And they're not gonna. So if you're basing all of your stuff, all of your attitude era knowledge from the network, I feel bad for you because you're not getting the whole big picture. There were things that were far worse on the attitude era that was approved during that time than that it than it is now. But as for Jinder Mahal himself, I don't blame him at all. He was a do-boy. He was doing his job. He was doing what he was told. They made him champion. He's the face of the company. They are doing, he's doing his job, which is what he's supposed to do. And even he was uncomfortable saying what was said. Do I blame Vince? No, because we know that Vince was out of touch. He's been out of touch for years. He's two decades into the past. And he keeps trying to bring those decades back. You can't bring, you can't recapture that magic. You can't. Road Dog, do I blame him? No, because he got approval from the boss to do it. He wrote the garbage and the garbage got approved. Do I blame him? No. Because even Road Dog is trying to relive his glory days in some way or fashion. But all I can say is that, yeah, it was in poor taste. But the person that we really do need to look at is Shinsuke. If Shinsuke is not offended, why should we be? Shinsuke is probably professional enough to understand what was going to go down. He probably knew that they were trying to get cheap heel heat. And that's what it was. Cheap heel heat. That's what they did in the past, in the 80s and in the 90s. And I'm not trying to make it legit. Racism is not a good thing. It is not at all. But I know why they did it. To get cheap heel heat. This has happened so many times. And it's still not a good way to get heel heat. But I get why they did it. Because gender is Indian. Even though he's Indian descent, we know he's from Canada. We know this already. He's, he's from Canada. But... Since he's Indian descent, since he's foreign, he's got to show that he's foreign by being a racist. Which makes no sense because that means you're discriminating against yourself. Which the whole storyline itself is stupid. So it really doesn't make any sense to get in an uproar and try to get gender demoted because of this. Because he was just doing his job. He was doing what he was told. I don't blame gender. I don't even blame WWE because I know they've been trapped in the past because their chairman, their CEO is stuck in the 80s. We all know this. He's stuck in the 80s and he's trying to relive the 80s and 90s. He's trying to capitalize on the past. That's how it's always been. So I'm not shocked by that at all. But I don't want gender to be demoted for that reason because he's doing his job. He was doing what he was told. But the thing is, me being black... Shoot, I, I mean, any, I, you think I should be in an uproar? No, because he really wasn't talking about me. But the thing is, is that if Shinsuke is not offended, then why should we be? And I'm just being real here. Sh uh, Shinsuke is probably more professional than any of us could be ever. And if he's not offended by what Jinder said, then we really shouldn't be either. And I'm not saying that we should tolerate racism. You shouldn't. You really shouldn't. Because in my humble opinion, people are racist towards other cultures and towards other races because you know nothing about them and you're too scared to know. That's what creates racist people. Stereotypes that you are too afraid to find out. But when it comes in this situation, it's for cheap hill heat and I think that Shinsuke was professional enough to know what was going on. So instead of us trying to get this guy demoted, just understand that if Shinsuke is not offended, then you should cool down and sit down and chill out. I'm just saying. But I know that that sounds like, well, I have every right to feel the way you feel the way I feel. You're right. You have every right to feel the way you feel. But if it's to the point where you're trying to affect somebody else's life, then that's a problem. Calm down. <laughs> if Shinsuke is not offended, then you shouldn't be either. And it doesn't make any sense to try to get gender demoted for that reason. And I know I said that three times, but I want to make sure that people are listening. But other than that, man, that's all I pretty much have to say for the matter. I want to hear your thoughts on it. Leave in the comments below. Let me know how you feel. I am done talking about this. And I will talk to y'all later. Peace out.